Okay, here's question 19 on the higher non-calculator paper. Uh, there's a diagram here, and just looking at the diagram straight away, I know I'm dealing with circle theorems. This question has something to do with circle th theorems. So, thinking about it, um, let's look at the question. A, B, and D are points on the circumference of a circle. So, A, B, and D, they're on the edge, the circumference of the circle, and the center of the circle is O. That's really important. If they tell you the center of the circle, right, that's going to be of some significance. B, O, D is the diameter. So, that goes all the way across, and it's the diameter of the circle. B, C, and A, C are tangents to the circle. So, BC and AC are tangents to the circle. Angle OCB is 34. So OCB is 34 degrees. Work out the size of the angle DOA. So DOA, let's find that. DOA. So that's going to be that angle there. That's what they want us to find. I'll put a little mark in there so I know what I need to do. Now, looking around this question, because they said, whenever they say the word tangent, right, in these questions it's quite standard, a tangent is at 90 degrees, or is 90 degrees to a diameter or radius. That there is a diameter, right, so the tangent BC is going to be at right angles to it, so I'm putting a right angle in there, maybe I should just draw a line to say 90 degrees, and OA, that's a radius, so that's going to be 90 degrees as well to the tangent AC. So that is 90 degrees also. So those are two angles that I definitely know. This shape, OACB, I'm actually going to use the highlight around this to make, just make sure I show it, but this is something that you should be very familiar with and recognize easily. This shape is a kite. And a kite is a symmetrical shape. So what that means is that if that angle there is 34, this angle on this side here should also be 34 degrees. Now, what I do have is inside this kite, I know all of this angle here. I know this angle is 90. I know this angle is 90. I could now work out this angle at the top. And once I do know this angle here, I could use the fact that those two angles are in a straight line, and I could work out the angle that they want me to, to find DOA. So I'm going to put the reason for it. Angles in a kite add to 360 degrees. So what I need to do is add 90, 90, 34, and 34. Okay, so that's 34, that's 34, that's 90, that's 90. Um, that's going to be 8. 9 and 9 is 18. 18 and 3 is 21. 21 and 3 is 24. So that means all of those angles there, that plus that plus that, is 248. So I'm going to do 360, take away 2, 4, Eight, and that is going to give me um, so 10 take away 8 is 2 5 take away 4 is 1 and 3 take away 2 is 1 112 degrees so this angle over here is 112 degrees right? but what I know is that the angles on a straight line add up to the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to do that workings on this side here, just so that you could see everything. Because angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees, that means that the angle they want us to find, DOA, DOA is this angle over here. That's going to be 180 take away 112. And 
and I reckon that's going to be 68, 68 degrees. And writing that in my answer space, that is going to get me full marks for this. So there's a fair bit in this particular question using some of the circle theorem rules. Right. However, if you break it down, you should be able to do it. And this style of circle theorem question is quite popular. This is the third time one like this came up. Make sure you know how to do it. Make sure you can get it right.